the way that I started to notice mine was really through asking myself, what brings me fulfillment? What do I find joy in doing? Step four in creating a lifestyle of discipleship is to serve with purpose. Every time I hear this step, I think back to God in creation. Uh, if you look at kind of a theology of, of God's work, he, he, God only works out of who he is. He created us so that he could show us his love and his glory and um, allow us to enjoy that with him, which sounds a bit narcissistic on God's part, but if you're God, uh, you're probably the only one who could actually say that. And so when I think about God creating and, and doing things out of who he is, that's what I think of when I hear serve with purpose. Each of us has a a way that we're wired. We have a creation, uh, a way that we're created uh, to operate. Uh, so like for me, me, for example, I really enjoy solving puzzles. I really enjoy having one-on-one -on -one conversations with people about uh, discipleship. I love to walk through life with people, see the light bulb come on, and help them see the beauty of God in ways that they never have before. I love diving into the deep stuff. I love diving into the, the painful things, not because I enjoy pain and suffering, uh, but because so often I found that God does some amazing things there. And for me to serve others, serving with a purpose out of that creation, often right now looks like uh, discipleship coaching, it looks like walking with others in uh, journey pastoral coaching. Um, I'm walking with other guys in uh, coaching relationships. And it's incredibly rewarding for me because it allows my creation, my calling to come out as I serve them. And, and the creation and calling that we have in our lives looks very different for, for everybody. Chris isn't wired like, like I am. My wife isn't wired like I am. And that's one of the beautiful things about the body of Christ. And that's the analogy that Paul's using. We're all wired. Our creation and our callings are different so that we can serve the body of Christ in different ways. And so when it comes to creating a lifestyle of discipleship, if we were to know our identity, practice the basics, and walk with someone, we're still very much focused on kind of our own little worlds. But if you look at the way that God works, uh, and especially in creating us and the way that he interacts with all of humanity, the way that he's created us to be relational and the way that he's uh, demonstrated servanthood to us, it starts to become apparent that God wants us to, in, in some way, join him in this act of service, this act of living out of our who he's created us to be. And as we become more like him, as we start to emulate the way that he loves uh, the world, the loves people around him, the more we start to become more like uh, the way that he serves other people. And so serving with purpose uh, really just means how can I intentionally try to practice and put to work my creation and my calling. Now that implies that you understand what your creation and calling is. And honestly, that in and of itself is a, can be a long process trying to just figure out what your creation and calling is. Uh, it's one of the values of walking with someone else. They might be able to help you see that more than uh, you could yourself. The way that I started to notice mine was really through asking myself, what brings me fulfillment? What do I find joy in doing? And it's those things in life that I found that brought me energy, that restored uh, joy to my life, like sitting down and having a conversation with somebody about how amazing God's grace is, 
or uh, sitting down and spending time solving a puzzle. Those, those kind of things uh, bring fulfillment to my life. And so if I can find a way to do those things in, in an outward direction, in other words, serving somebody else with those things, that then can become my calling, the way that I'm called to live my life. So if you're going to look for your creation and calling, try to find those things that you're passionate about. Try to find those things that bring fulfillment and joy to your life. And get input from others. I mean, that's the whole point of walking with someone else is to uh, get feedback and, and get a perspective that you wouldn't necessarily have just by looking at your own life. So step four, serving with purpose. It's, I think, a natural outflow of the first three steps. As we know our identity, practice the basics, and walk with others, we start to become more like Christ. And out of that, just like God acts out of his character, flows service to others from who we are.